G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today, I'm going to show you how to find relevant backlinks so you can hack your competitor's backlink profile. Let's jump into it. Now, while I've got you there, because it's the start of the new year, I just wanted to welcome you. Happy New Year. I hope you had a wonderful time, wonderful break with your friends and family, and it was marvelous. Now, guys, if you want to have a chat and you want to succeed this year, you want to have a thrilling, wonderful and successful year, I've got a free booking link down below that you can click. So go and click that link, book a 15 minute slot with me and we can have a chat. And the other exciting news that I have is I am building an all encompassing SEO tool that is going to make your life so much easier. And I'm talking a tool that is out of this world unique. No one has anything else like this. So you guys, what I need from you is additional input in the comments. Let me know what you would want to see in an SEO tool. We've got SEMrush, we've got Majestics, Ahrefs, all that noise. Let me know what exactly you would want your SEO tool to do so you guys would have an easier life and everything would just become a lot easier. Let me know in the comments down below and book a 15 minute slot. Now you might be wondering why you need to find relevant backlinks. So let me just walk you through a little exciting thing that I like to talk about. So as you can see, roofing SEO. I'm quite stoked with this keyword, but as you can see organically, I'm in position number two. Here's my terrible, terrible enemies WebFX, all right? These guys are huge. Absolutely huge. And you can see, look at all of these companies paying $25 a click to just try and steal that traffic away from us that have earned it to be there. So today, what I'm going to show you is how you can actually acquire relevant links and what you need to look for. Because this topic came up when I was chatting with a client last year, and they asked me specifically, Ron, I did the backlink gap profile, but... <laughs> My response rate when I send out all the emails that my, to the links that my clients have, uh, my competitors have, I'm only getting a small response rate. And that is the case. Well, what's the next step? Where do you start looking from there? Let me show you how to acquire relevant links that will help you win. So the first thing you want to do is you want to review your competitor in something like Majestic. Now, if you don't have Majestic, I will show you how to run it through SEMrush shortly, but I'll show you Majestic to begin with because to be honest, guys, Majestic is everything I rely on when it comes to building backlinks. SEMrush is like my checker for traffic and additional links and anchors, but SEMrush is my lovely. This is where I start and this is what I look at because I believe in trust flow more than any other metric when it comes to backlinks. So when I'm trying to figure out the relevant type of links, like I said, backlink app, I've performed it, but no one's reaching back to me and I need to build a heap of links. What type of links should I be building? What type of relevant links should I be looking for? This is where Majestic comes in handy. So immediately you can see this information up here. It says trust flow. Let me just zoom in a little bit for you as well. Just zoom in a little bit more. You can see trust flow and citation flow. Okay, so trust flow is really the metric that I like looking at. And we're looking at this information right here, right here. So we can see that the majority of the trust flow comes from business, the business category classified in Majestic, marketing and advertising. All right, fantastic. But I wanna go further in depth. So I'm gonna come over to the left-hand column right here. All right, and I'm gonna go down to topics. Now, what I'm specifically looking for is the type and category of link that these guys have that's bringing the most power to the website. Because, and the reason for this is, you're never going to be able to completely close a backlink gap. That's the honest truth. It's just, people are gonna have PBN set up that are supporting their own assets and they're never gonna give you a link. They're not gonna be like, yeah, mate, no worries, I'll link to you, you're my competitor, of course. Doesn't happen, guys. So this bad boy right here is where we want to be focusing our efforts. This is gonna be a short, sweet, straight to the point video. So as an example, what backlinks am I looking to build? Well, if I'm trying to push out WebFX as an example for roofing SEO, them and I are locked head in head. We're going for this keyword. This is a nice keyword. They charge 20 grand, 20 grand. Come work with me, I'll do it for 10 <laughs> and get the same results. So we're locked in heads. What are we doing? I need to build the type of links that are completely relevant. So should I be building, let's say, links that talk about, let's say, health? 
Should I be building those things? No, because as we can see up here, the heavy hitters for the backlinks and the categories of these backlinks, these relevant backlinks that are being built to my competitor's website in Majestic, a business forward slash marketing and advertisement. So when I'm going out there trying to find relevant backlinks to help me lift up my website, I should be looking for things in the business slash marketing and advertisement space, first of all. And I can also get links from the society side of it with life lifestyle choices, philanthropy. These types of links as well are bringing a lot of power, a lot of power into my competitor. So these are the types of things that you want to be looking at. Now, I'll show you what to do in SEMrush because most people don't have Majestic. So I'll show you what to look for over there. So you'll throw your competitor into SEMrush. You'll come down, backlink, bulk analytics, and you're just going to scroll down. Now, with SEMrush, it's a lot lighter. And you'll see why I actually use Majestic. Because look at this, guys. Categories of referring domains. You can see that the business and industry... What is that? That's quite broad. If we have a look back over at Majestic quickly, we can see business, small business, business telecom. Hey, that's my past game. Business uh, corporates, regional North America, business, industrial goods and services. Look at look at that <laughs> breakdown. With SEMrush, unfortunately, it's only showing business and industrial. It's not a massive breakdown like we're seeing over in Majestic. We can't be as hyper-focused. But when you're trying to find the relevant types of links, you can throw in, let's say you're trying to build links for a page, throw the page into here. So look via the page actual side, and then you can see what type of links are being built as well. So if you can't get the same links as your competitor, throw in the links. Don't just look at the anchors. You know, I've got a ton of videos on anchor text and what you need to do and how to analyze that. I'll link that above, but you'll see them another important thing especially when it comes to keywords like roofing seo competitive keyword the the biggest let's be honest webfx probably the biggest one of the biggest seo agencies out there they absolutely dominate it like look at their backlink profile millions millions of backlinks i don't know millions so as you can see here this is the sort of stuff that you want to be focusing on when you're trying to find those relevant links so if it was you, you don't want to be going out there as an example and building computers and electronics. You'd more so be wanting to focus on business and industrial. Very, very, very important. And another thing you can actually do is you can scroll down in Semra, scroll down, scroll down, and you'll see the TLD distribution. Now, obviously, it'll still be categorized in the stuff up above. But what we can do is we can have a look here and we can see the top level domain reference. So we can see if it's a .com, we can see if it's a net, we can see if it's an org, a gov, edu. Now this can kind of help you and these are the types of things that you can do. But as you can see, a huge website like WebFX have minimal .gov, .edu. But this is another additional location that you can actually look at to try and find those relevant backlinks so you can just absolutely hack into your competitor's backlink profile and boost it up dramatically. And that's how you can use this stuff to your advantage to find the relevant links. Now, guys, remember, you've got a link down below where you can click get a free booking with me. 15 minute chat. We can talk about the year 2024 and how you're going to dominate it with SEO. And let me know what you would want to see on your SEO tool, how we could make something like SEMrush 10 times better, because that's my objective. My objective is to make the best SEO tool that has ever existed. So let me know what you would want to see in an SEO tool for it to be just your dream perfection. Have a lovely day.